It took three months after Renee was killed for me to pick up my life and trudge forward. Trudge being far too optimistic a word. Three months after Renee was gone, in the empty cold of January, Dave and Ruth brought Julie back to my house. I can remember kneeling down to hug her at the door, her tears on my neck, and Dave and Ruth standing quietly on the porch as the chill wrapped around all of us. Julie's small body shook against mine, and I felt a closeness to her that I'd never felt before, even when I had officially adopted her a year earlier. She needed me, and no one else never had. Not like that. Everyone told me, from friends to family to the psychologist I saw, that I'd recover in time, but their good intentions only went into a darker, more terrifying realization. I wasn't going to recover. The abrupt sense of shock from Renee's death didn't dissipate. My pain was locked in some dark place psychology hadn't yet lit. I was able to return to work, but an enormous wound was carved into me and would not heal. The only thing that made me feel better was talking with Renee's memory. Oh, je voudrais tant que tu te souviennes des jeunes amis où nous étions amis. En ce temps-là, la vie était plus belle et le soleil plus brûlant qu'aujourd'hui. Les foyers mortes se ramassent à la peine. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la perle Les souvenirs et les rentaises aussi Et le vent du nord les emporte Dans la nuit froide Je n'ai pas souffré Pour la chanson Que tu me chantais C'est une chanson Julie on Friday nights. They thought they were helping by forcing me to socialize, and I would oblige them by dropping Julie off at their home and then pretend I was heading to a bar in Fells Point or a concert somewhere in the city. Instead, I would drive back home and sit in the bedroom and have imaginary conversations with Renee. I would tell her what I had done during the week, how Julie was doing, other things I thought she would like to know. I began to look forward to these conversations with urgency as the week drew to a close. I remember sitting in that dark bedroom after winter ended and summer had come. Alone on a warm summer night, talking to Renee's memory with the window open. I could hear cars passing on the streets below, her neighbors murmuring, with the loud, sudden, excited shouts of children. Grief, for a few moments, became beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you. 